We just made ourselves a pumpkin palooza. Mm -hmm. Five pumpkins, three different styles, and 50 bands. <laughs> and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a build it or make it? We do too, and we have a new video every week. This week, fall is in the air. Not really, but I did see pumpkin spice at Starbucks. So we're pumpkins, making pumpkins. Pumpkins everywhere, really. Yeah, pumpkins yeah, everywhere. everywhere. I mean, things are already going on sale. Fall is already going on sale. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even feel like it's uh, fall weather yet. Like. Oh no, it's 94 degrees outside. Yeah, 94 <laughs> degrees and fall is on sale, everybody. <laughs> This week we're gonna start with three different pumpkins. We're gonna make a cloth version, a yarn version, and then Garrett's making pumpkin ribs. And pumpkin you'll see, ribs. <laughs> and you'll see that, that's gonna be our last one. So we're gonna start this video with our fabric pumpkin. All right, pumpkin what number we, one. What do we need for supplies, Garrett? <laughs> so first we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We really just needed some cozy looking fabric and a paper mache pumpkin. That's a lot of peas, paper mache pumpkin. <laughs> and some twine, yarn. Jute? Jute. Maybe some leaves. I got these cute little leaves. Maybe we'll see leaves. if I want to add those. Oh, and a pumpkin. A pumpkin stem. Pick this up on the floral section. It looks pretty real. Yeah, look how great that is. I love that thing. Yeah, I think it'll be cool. a, make a perfect stem. I don't have to go hunting through the pumpkin patch. <laughs> Yeah, it's not his favorite activity. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always have to carry all the pumpkins. Yeah, that's and why. And we had six kids. <laughs> everybody has to have their own. Yeah, everybody had to have their own pumpkin. And Plus you have to, to have... <laughs> everybody had to try to outdo the next one. <laughs> yep. and then you've got to have a few for the porch because they each have one and those are... They, they always pick the weird one. Everybody picks the weird one, so you have to have two, of the, two that look pretty. <laughs> I thought we would go to a pumpkin patch where it's like as many as you can carry for twenty dollars. So you had to be able to hold them for like ten seconds or something. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. We digress. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I got this fabric on sale. It was on clearance. So I only need about a yard of it, but I think there was only a I think there was a yard and a half left on the. We say, give us all you got. Yeah. Yeah. So, I would say if you were going to make this yourself, probably you only need a yard. I have a little bit more here. Well, how big is a pumpkin? Uh, I don't know. Does this say how big it is? Yes, it's a nine and three quarters by seven and a half. So, nine wide, seven and a half tall, I would think. Yeah, I think so. All right, so I think we just need to figure out where to cut this. And where are you, right? I would say let's cut it right here on this stripe right here. This one? Yes. Oh, those are no longer fabric scissor scissors. They this were yellow. This sure. Yellow one. It's a, yep, that looks like a good one. These were once fabric scissors. Oh, you're just gonna cut it like paper, hmm? Yeah. Yeah, pull it to you. Where's my line? Where's my line? Just get it back, Garrett. Get it back. Go over here. If you can pull, I'll pull on this end. There you go. Who knew this was going to take so much teamwork? Teamwork makes the bump pumpkin work. <laughs> the bump pumpkin? The bump, the bump, bump pumpkin. Well, we don't know where he's from. Maybe he is a bumpkin pumpkin. All right, this looks a little short. Mm, suck it in, pumpkin. It's okay, we can make it up with the sides. Bam, look at that. Yeah. You glue it on there first? Um, I don't even think I need to glue it, but I do think we need to work. You see, here's the trick with this, is that you want to work. You got to put it in the butt cheeks. The gathers. You gotta give it a wedgie. It's a little wedgie. I can turn the above camera on. Yes. Am I supposed to be doing something? Um, you're gonna get ready with this because we're gonna tie this around. Um, I think 
I got it a little short. That's my fault. I get it. I know what I told you. I think if I just took that in Pumpkins there. Pumpkin's wearing a tight t-shirt. Yeah, look. So we'll glue that down. It's like a v-neck. <laughs> it's a v-neck. They cast all this pumpkin in Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting a pumpkin spice. I thought it was weird. <laughs> they called them pumpkin pumpkin. Um, pumpkin pumpkin. All right. It's oh. like a ponytail. Should I have more string? How much string do I need? All right, just enough to go all the way around. So if just you one could, time. Um. A couple of times. Yeah, let's start with just just no, just one time to tie it. I think let's just get it tied. This is like a ponytail. It's like I'm doing a little kid's hair. Yeah. Oh yeah. All of these are gonna be like we're doing a kid's hair. The next one we're braiding, right? Yeah. Bam. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. No, keep what? Don't let go. Oh. <laughs> now tie it in a knot. Okay. And done. So minus his little v-neck there, which I think I could glue down. And now we want to... Looks like a snork, right? <laughs> you guys remember that show? It was like the underwater smurfs. So I think now you can just pull some of these tight if you want to, if they're not quite tight enough. You want to try? Nope. I see you trying to get in here. Nope. Just observing. I think we're going to tie a little more. Let's start with um, taking off our excess fabric here. Alright. So we talked about a couple of things. You could maybe tell you. Oh, that's kind of cute like that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just leave it like this. We, the other option we talked about is wrapping the whole stem in jute and making it like a little jute stem. So I think either way would look good. Do you want to do it both ways? I mean... We saw can... it like this. You guys see it like this? Now I'll wrap it with jute. Jute time. I'm going to wrap one of these little twigs in it. Yeah, perfect. Great job. You want to show them what you've done? It's going to put a little cap on it. Made a little cap. Put the cap right on top. Yeah, that'll be perfect. As soon as the glue heats up. Can to glue that down? Stay. Yeah, do a nice little bead on the outside of that so it stays on the way. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. One little, just one little leaf here. Yeah. Put it right there. Perfect. Not dry enough yet. Okay. Yeah, just leave that until it hardens up a little bit. It looks dry, dry. All right. Can you see that? I think that looks so cute. All it's right. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Pumpkin number two. Pumpkin number two. Also probably a little tricky here. Yeah. Now, the thing with pumpkin number two is after I got home with this, I started to think, do I have enough yarn? So we may have to show you the technique and we may not be able to finish this one. So we will just see how it goes. I did get this yarn on clearance, it's like $1.24, so I could have totally gotten two, but I didn't think I needed to until I looked at my fat pumpkin. Fat pumpkin. All right, so what you do here is you're gonna measure how much do you need. You're gonna do some long strands here. So I'm gonna leave a little bit at the top and the bottom. I think I need strands that are this long, so go ahead and cut that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to braid these. So I'm going to cut three of them. And then... How many of these do we need? Uh, 
as many as it's going to take to go around the top. So oh, wait, let me see one now, real quick. Okay. Just one. Oh, just one. I mean, as many as it's going to take to wrap around the pumpkin here. So it's creating a, a table jig. <laughs> so I'm just going <coughs> to tie them at the top. And then you know what I think I should probably do is tape it down unless you want to hold each one for me, but that seems inefficient. Yeah, I'll just give a little piece of tape up. Seems like I had that ready, but I didn't. I just knew it was sticking stick to the stuck to the side of the table. There's tape everywhere around <laughs> this table. Alright, so we're just gonna braid these in a simple braid. Do you know how to braid? No, I do not know how to braid. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, I did. I had to watch YouTube videos to do the girl's hair. And then it, I don't know, it didn't look right, so. You just kind of alternate, right? Yeah, well, you just keep putting them to the center. So outside in, outside in, outside in, outside in. You just keep switching sides. See, it's real simple. Oh, your job before you start on that is to figure out how to get the stem out of the top of that pumpkin. It seems wobbly, so it seems like it would come out relatively easily. Okay. Ah. <laughs> well, there you go. Not too, not too th wide, because I just need a bunch of these to tuck in there. Can you stem? Yes. Yes. Oh, is this a solid? This is something I hadn't planned on. It's a solid foam pumpkin. I thought it would be hollow in the inside. So you're gonna have to, yeah, create a deep well for me to tuck these in. Improvise. Now we're gonna have these little styrofoam balls up here for like a week, two weeks, maybe a month. All right, so what I was thinking is, I'll just wrap this around. Oh, it got uh -huh. shorter. It got shorter. So I should start making these a little longer. Yeah. out of yarn but you can see the possibilities <laughs> you can see the possibilities it's possible to go buy a sweater and just cut it up and, and wrap it around the uh, that's what he asked pumpkin. me don't we just have a sweater we could wrap around this thing I think it would be I think it looks really cool I get that I didn't have enough yarn so you're gonna need two things of yarn I think two will do it or a small smaller pumpkin much smaller I pumpkin suggest Smaller pumpkin. That way you're not doing so much braiding. Well, and maybe not use a glitter pumpkin like I did because you could first paint it in this dark gray color and then cover it and that way you really wouldn't see um, anything peeking through like you can maybe see a little bit through here. Yeah, you can see just a little bit peeking through, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I think it would be... <laughs> I know he's laughing at me, but I think that it could be so cute. And then um, I had big plans, like you could put a little cork pumpkin on this one, I mean the stem on this one, and I was going to add one of these curly cues. Um, but, and maybe, maybe I can still finish it. I'll, I'm going to look and see if I can find some more yarn um, and, we'll, and we'll finish it. But it was in the clearance section, so it's probably not likely. It might have to be two colors of yarn. Maybe in the final shots it'll be finished. Let's just wait and see. Maybe we'll find a sweater by then. <laughs> Maybe it'll find a sweater. But you, you get the gist. It'll be really cool. Then we have to figure out how to get that little guy in there. More yarn. Alright. That was a... That was a something, a vision that still needs to form up. 
little more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pumpkin number three. We're gonna do the pumpkin ribs. This is like a pumpkin skeleton. Again, we got this file from Laser Sharks. I love Laser Sharks. They got some really great designs. It's all like laser cut designs. We needed three sheet sheets. Three sheets. <laughs> three sheets. That's hard to get out. A quarter inch MDF. And I'm gonna take them over to the Glowforge and cut out all my little rib pieces. I'll be right back. Woo! <laughs> that was a lot of cutting. That was a lot more cutting than I thought. I actually took an extra board. So four quarter inch sheets of MDF, 12 by 20. So I got all my little rib pieces for three little pumpkins. And then I got my base, which is two pieces. And my top, which is two pieces, and then a stem. How cute! So, step two of pumpkin three. We're gonna glue it all together. So we gotta glue these base pieces together. Okay. For all of them, and then we'll come back and glue these pieces in. Sorry, there's still yarn floating there's, around. Yes, there's like. <laughs> Yarn fog. <laughs> I think there are my fancy lashes. It's everywhere. Right, we'll give all of our bases a second to dry. Tops are all dry. I wasn't even looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Time to add all the little ribs. So the ribs are just gonna fit in now like that. And then on the bottom. Oh, super cool. All right, so this one's mine. How do you know which is the top and which is the bottom? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the top. That's gotta have the stem in it. See, these are the other ones. This is this, this one. Yeah, that's this one. Oh, the tops have a little notch for the... Right, but I mean... I guess I'll see if it's... Okay. Now, as I start to assemble these with no glue, I guess we're going to see if these will dry fit. If yeah. they dry fit, we could then take them apart and store it easier. Yo! There, I just had to glue the two pieces. The rest was... Tight enough to stay together. Still working on that one? How's it going? I love these. Okay. You think we gotta paint them? Well, yeah, we gotta paint them. <laughs> think we gotta take them apart to paint them? I think it would be easier. I think it would be easier to take apart and then paint. Let's see. All right. Step four. Now we're gonna paint the pumpkins. Have you guys notice something different behind us? Maybe our paint selection has changed. <laughs> we have a new partnership, which we alluded to last week that we're super excited to announce this week. Uh, we have a partnership with Country Chic Paint. We'll have them available in our store soon. They're not there yet. But if you would like to purchase your own selection of Country Chic Paints, you can purchase them from CountryChicPaint.com using our coupon code MAKE IT10 for 10% off your first order. They have a really great selection. Like, there's over 60 different colors. And if you can't find your color, they have this great little color matching, color mixing chart that they have. Tells you exactly how many parts per pieces of paint, I guess. Is that what it is? Per pieces of paint? Parts of paint, yes. Parts of paint. <laughs> <laughs> to come up with the color that you're looking for. So they don't have the exact orange that I want to do my pumpkin in. So I'm going to mix this. What is this? This mustard? Fresh mustard? Yep. And where is it? Cranberry? Is 
these two. I'm going to mix these two to make my good orange. So we're going to paint these three things and we'll fast forward through all of that for you. <laughs> we will do you a favor. It's going to be painful. <laughs> so we'll clip through it right about now. All right, what do you think? Three different styles for this pumpkin palooza? <laughs> yeah, I will tell you, this was our first try with our new Country Chic paint, and we loved it. Yeah, it's, it went on with one coat. It that did. That is my favorite part. Yes. One coat. Yes, yes, and it was, just like the bottle says, I was reading it a little while ago, clay-based, you it can tell. Smells like clay. It does, and then it's superior adhesion, Yes, and yep. easy to distress. Yes, we yes. distressed this front pumpkin. I don't know if you yeah. can really see it. You check it out. But he's really cute. Threw a little 220 on that after we painted it. Yeah, they look really cute. We used cheesecake for this one, and the stems are rustic charm. This is dune grass. And then the orange one here is sparklers. We said we were gonna mix, but ultimately, um, I thought this was a great color. I thought it went really well with the other two colors. So I like, I like the deep, the deep, rich color of it. And you see, I couldn't, I couldn't go with a failed project. I fixed our pumpkin here. I went back to the store. I got some different yarn. Took off everything that we did and redid it. So I'll put that video on our Patreon page so you can kind of see what I did there and how I fixed it. But I couldn't let it just hang out. I All told her, let, half. It, let it die. Let yeah, it die he did try it, yes, but I didn't let it happen, so. What do you guys think? I love them all. I think they, I was surprised at how cute this one turned out with its little stem. Yeah, uh, I love cute. the little, like, cozy feel of this one, and yeah. these three are great. Well, these three... These are designed to put a candle in here. So. Oh, yeah, a little uh, votive. Yes. We'll, uh, we'll put these up in the store. Yeah. So that you can order these as a kit. And they're not glued together. I just pushed them all together. They're yes. really tight after we painted it. Yeah. We really. did have to sand a few of the ribs to get them in there. But uh, the great thing thick. the great thing about storing these is that you will be able to take them apart and put them again put them back together again next year. All right. Looks like we're about out of time again. <laughs> so, we're going to go get some dinner. And we'll see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. There's plenty to balance here. Ooh, should I do Do you think I could balance the gourd on top of here? Oh, what if no. I put that on the gourd? King me. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Think I could do all three? No, please, no. Let's go eat.